in this lecture we are going to go ahead and understand an overview of the world trade in order to understand how uh, to determine how much trade is taken place and who trades with whom we have a model and this model is known as the gravity model now what is the gravity model so a gravity model basically links two countries together country 1 and country 2 and it tells us how trade is going to take place between two countries actually it this model is based on empirical uh, relationship and this this says that there are two things which we have to consider one we have to consider what is the how strong is the economy of the country which is given by the gdp of the country and secondly what is the distance between two countries so the gravity model actually goes ahead and suggests that the amount of export and import which is basically the amount of trade this amount of trade basically goes ahead and this amount of trade actually depends on the distance between the two countries and it depends on the economy of the two countries so in particular let's take an example for example we have seen that us it trades heavily with germany uk france and this is where you it has the highest you know these are the countries which have the highest value of gdp which means us trades with those countries where the gdp is high using the same gravity model it is also seen that there is some relationship between the distance and the trade and the borders also international borders so those countries which have friendly international borders which allow easy movement of goods and services where there are less import quotas where there are less tariffs these are the countries where good amount of trade takes place as compared to the other countries so two things us from the empirical data it seems trades heavily with the countries who have high gdp which means that your trade is a function of the gdp of the countries and it also is affected by how much is the distance between two countries and also how friendly are the borders of the two countries based on this we can go ahead and we can actually come up with an equation that tells us the trade or the value of trade between two countries country i and j and this tells us that the value of trade between country i and j this actually is dependent on a constant term a it depends on the gdp of country i on the gdp of country j and inversely with the distance between the two countries so this is how it is a is any constant tij is the value of trade between country i and j yi is country i's gdp yj is country j's gdp and dij is the distance between two countries i and j so let's read this out the value of trade between any two countries is proportional other things equal to the product of two countries gdp and diminishes with the distance between the two countries this is known as the gravity model so this model this we call it as the gravity model now for the general version of the gravity model we say that we can actually go ahead and we write this as tij is equal to a into yi a 
into y j b upon d i j c where a b c are basically the values which are chosen that fit the data well so this is done using econometric regression you just have to understand that this is a simple model which says that trade directly depends on gdp of the two countries and inversely on the distance between the two countries now the question is does this gravity model actually work have we seen this model working in the past so the answer is we can go ahead and see this in the past transactions that have taken place we have actually seen that the countries which have large income actually do a large amount of transactions with the rest of the world so this is true that if you have large economy you spend large amount of income on imports so whenever the income of the country increases not only the demand of products that are within the country increase but also you increase the demand of the products that are produced outside the country which means you increase imports so this is what has been seen so it has also been seen that when you transact with the rest of the world you get more trade from countries which have higher gdp so other things holding constant trade between two economies is larger larger is either of the economy now let's go ahead and let's see about the distance so in the past it has been seen that actually this is true that as the distance between two countries increased the trade between the countries decreased so estimates say that 1% increase in distance between two countries was associated with a fall of 0.7 to 1% in the trade between those countries so this is actually true this is what empirical data states that there is a strong negative effect of the distance on international trade similarly it is seen that if countries go into a contract for trade more trade takes place and if there is no good in uh, you know international relationship then less trade takes place between those countries we can account for that using barriers and trade agreements so if there are trade agreements like nafta trade barriers like tariff quota this also determines who trades with whom so people or countries which are in a particular trade agreement will only trade with each other but not with the other countries but not with the other countries so we will go ahead and we will look into these various trade instruments in the later chapter